this. Uh, this video is going to be on the kidneys. And um, because we have lots of old people in the Caribbean, especially in Grenada also now, is bombarded with kidney problems, kidney failure, kidney disease, kidney stones, lots of trouble in the kidneys. So we're going to have a little, uh, couple of minutes describing of the kidney function. And tomorrow night on MTV, we are going to go more in depth on how the kidneys work and things you can do also to not only prevent kidney disease but also kidney failure, right? And the link is www.tcind forward slash MTV2 at 9 p.m. tomorrow night, Tuesday night from 9 to 10 p.m. and you will get more information on the kidneys, all right? All right, now we're talking about God and everybody talking about God caused these troubles and if God was so this, why didn't he intervene? God never calls people to have trouble in the kidneys. God never tells us to eat the wrong foods. He gave us a diet. You understand? Man is the one who is contaminating your foods with all these chemicals and antibiotics. Man is the one who is stripping the foods that he gave us, God gave us. You understand? You understand? And stripping it of its vitamins and minerals and putting these hormones in there. Man is the one that is vaccinating us every day with all these diseases, all these viruses, and causing our children to be zombies. When we get older, God don't cause these things. Man caused these things. God never created religion because religion is causing confusion. You understand? And division and politics is also causing confusion because you have people who is Democrats and Republicans and PNNP and NDC. That's confusion. You put people against each other. God never created that. God has us to live together. You understand? So these are the people that is causing us to have troubles in our organ system. All right? What does the kidney do? The kidney manufactures a hormone called renin to keep your blood pressure normal. Your kidneys filters your blood. Your kidneys deal with your alkaline acid balance. Keep them in balance. From the tissues that is. Taking all the acid from the tissues. Your kidneys also help to regulate proteins. You understand? Your kidneys is so significant, that's why God gave you two of them. That you must take care of the kidneys. And the kidney is the water organ. It regulates the water balance. So if your heart is not pumping the blood through your vessel walls properly, and your kidneys don't get enough blood, your kidneys can never ever regulate your water balance. So your feet won't swell. So in reality, your kidneys control your heart and your heart control your kidneys. So if you have high blood pressure, you could damage your kidneys, kidney failure. If you have diabetes and your sugar is too high, you could damage your kidneys. You understand? So you have to take care of the kidneys and you have to drink lots of purified water in order to flush your kidneys on a regular basis. We're going to teach you how to prevent kidney damage and kidney failure by using herbs that God gave us to use every day that will take care of the kidneys. Firstly, if you have a weak kidney, you can never ever stimulate that kidney. It's going to collapse. You're going to die. If you have a weak kidney or kidneys, you have to tonify them with herbs. You're going to tell you what herbs are. And once the kidneys are tonified, then you use the herbs to strengthen the kidneys now. And once the kidneys are strengthened, then your kidneys will throw off any sickness that you have. Once your organs are strong, any sickness comes in, it will throw it off. But if your organs are weak and any sickness come in, they can't fight the sickness because they're weak. So the sickness is going to overtake your organ and you're going to die. So you have to take care of the kidneys. All right? Now, if you have kidney disease, CFD they call it. We use sting and nettle leaf and seed. And there is a lot of research on this particular herb in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in Europe, especially in Germany, on regeneration of the kidneys by using this particular herb. Nettle leaf and seed. Cordyceps, golden seed, organ grapefruit. Cordyceps, golden seed, organ grapefruit mixed together with nettle leaf and nettle seed. Romania and pituitary of the wall. 
these herbs mixed together with these herbs here, if the kidneys is infected, we use these herbs. Right? Together. Three cups per day. No uh, set of heavy proteins. No cheese. No milk. If you have kidney stones now, because kidney stones come from what? Too much refined sugars, too much inorganic calcium from your milk and your cheese. And the parathyroid, which do not metabolize calcium well. That's where you get your kidney stones from. You don't drink a lot of water. So if you have kidney stones, grab a root, stone root, corn silk. If you have kidney stones. And you have to use a quarter cup of olive oil and a quarter cup of lemon juice and you take a teaspoon every hour from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. for four days. Cleavers, Uvarasi, Marshmallow. If you want to regulate your kidney function and you want to tonify the kidneys, you have to use these herbs on a regular basis. With what? B6, B2, and magnesium, 600 milligrams per day. 300 milligrams of the B6 and the B2 per day. If you want to have good kidney function and keep the kidney from being diseased. Let's look at a few of the function of the kidneys now. When you do a, go to a doctor, the doctor takes what we call a renal panel test. Look at over here. And he looks at your sodium, he looks at your potassium, he looks at your chloride, he looks at your CO2, he looks at your burn and your creatine. Now, this person here has kidney damage. So the potassium is way over the limit, 6.4. That means the, the sodium level is inadequate with the potassium because they work together. One is from inside your cells, one is from outside the cells. You understand? So, if you have a high potassium level, you're going to get troubles in your heart. If you have a high sodium level, you're going to have troubles in your heart. Now, we go down to the bun. Bun is called blood urea nitrogen test. This bun is high, 43. So it will be 7 to 17 milligram deciliter. What is it doing at 43? That means you're getting kidney damage now. Creatine goes from 0 0.5 to 1.1. What is this person doing with a high creatine level of 4.10? That's kidney damage. That's kidney failure. That means you have to go and take dialysis. Telling me that you want to take care of your kidneys properly. And this one over here is called the GFR. It's called glo glo glomer glo glomer uh, uh, filtration rate. And if this is under a certain level, the doctor will take a test. And that does what a test does. It is used to check how well your kidneys are working. It estimates how much blood is passing through the glomerula each minute they are filtering units and if they are high the doctor will tell you if they are under 60 the doctor will say you have what you call CKD chronic kidney disease if they are 15 you have kidney failure that's how you know these numbers here are important see when you have kidney troubles see but you must be able to take care of your kidneys by using herbs. So what we do, if your kidneys is weak, we use one of the eight meta therapy by tonifying the kidneys by using marshmallow and hydrangea and butchu leaves and um, gravel root and a little bit of Oregon grapefruit to tonify the kidneys. And once we get the kidneys strong now with all these herbs now, look at them right here. Golden seal, gravel root, hydrangea, pituitary of the wall. We strengthen the kidneys. We tonify the kidneys. Then we strengthen the kidneys. Once your kidneys is strong enough, any sickness coming in, the kidney will throw it off. Your immune system, once you have good immunity, God, God give you two of them, one to protect, one to repair. Once you have them working properly, they will shoot down any virus or any cancer cell, like a dog in the street. That's what your body is supposed to do if they're strong. So you have to keep all the organs.
organs of elimination. Don't forget them organs now. Liver, kidneys, large and small intestines, lungs. You have to keep them strong. Plus you have to keep the blood well. And you have to keep your heart pumping that blood through the arterial walls so that your kidneys now will get enough blood to move the excessive amount of water out. Once you have too much excessive amount of sodium in your diet, you won't get troubles in your heart and your kidneys because your kidney control the heart and the heart control the kidneys. Once you have too much inorganic calcium in your diet for milk and cheese, you won't get troubles in your heart. You won't get trouble in your kidneys. You won't get kidney stones too. So you have to have a balance in the organ system and strengthen them with herbs and foods that are good for you. Not the food that the man stripping of all the vitamins. You have those together and then you will see your kidneys will take you off your heart and your heart will take you off your lungs and your lungs will take you off your liver and your liver will take you off what? The small and large intestines and vice versa. And they will be so strong that any sickness coming into your system, your organ will throw them off because that is why they were created to throw off any sickness that you have. So tomorrow night we're going to talk more in depth on the kidneys and show you how wonderful you are made by the Most High. Give Him the glory. Peace. Love.